I created the video you see on the screen five months ago. I go over a tool called Home Row. Then I met this other tool called Mouseless, created this video two months ago, and I have been using both tools ever since. So to start with, which one do I prefer, Home Row or Mouseless? I still use both. To click on stuff, I use Mouseless, and to navigate and scroll, I use Home Row. I'll let you know why in a minute. But there's a few things I was not aware about Mouseless and that I was not doing correctly. Mouseless recently received a few updates. Let me show you how it looks now. Just gonna bring it up with this key. Notice that I have the grid on the screen. With the updates, there are new styles. So at least for me, it's easier to see the grid now. Notice that I also don't have lines across, but I have dots. You can configure that. One of the things that I was not doing with Mouseless was double click or triple click, as you see here on the right hand side. So I'm just gonna show you how I do that. I'm gonna switch to Finder right now. Well, it's actually forklift. Let me go to this clean shot tab on the left. And what do I use double click for if I wanna open a file? So let me bring up the grid. I'm gonna type the two letters right now, Q, U. And how do I double click? I could use space because if I type space, it's going to click right in the middle. But I'm just gonna use JJ. So to double click, I'm just gonna type here JJ. So notice that it opened this image. Let me try it with a different one. Just gonna close out of here. And I'm just going to click on a different image, QO. I'm gonna type here JJ again. Notice that it brought the image up. You can do the same thing with triple click. I don't do triple click, but if there's a reason to do it, let me know down in the comments. Another thing that I was not doing with mouse list is opening stuff in a new tab. Let me go to my browser real quick. And let's say that I wanna open the third page in a new tab. Just gonna bring up the grid. I don't remember how to open stuff in a new tab. How can I bring up the settings from here? If I hit tab, you're gonna notice that it shows me the settings. Here, I'm going to scroll down. Notice that I don't have an option for hold for middle button. So I'm just going to click there real quick. I'm gonna bring up the grid. I'm gonna type here TJ, space. Now I'm just going to type here, shift, left. Because that's the one that I wanna use. I'm gonna click on save at the bottom. It's saved already. Let me go back to my browser. Gonna bring up the grid again. I'm going to type here TL. Now I'm going to leave shift pressed. Notice what it says there, button middle. And I'm just going to type space. Notice what happened. It opened this in a new tab. So that's what I wanted. Let's try a different one. I'm gonna bring up the grid again. TT. Now I'm going to leave shift pressed, space. Notice that it opened it in a new tab. So I can go to these two tabs here. Just gonna close them. A new feature that was recently implemented and I think is really useful is this. If I type the wrong first letter, can I delete it or do I have to exit and reopen the grid? So let's say that for example, I bring this up and I wanna click on the first article. I have to type RY for example. But let's say that I type the letter O. That happens often to me. So what can I do? If I type backspace, notice that it deletes that and I can type R now. Let's say that by mistake here, I type the letter S. Notice that this shows up in the wrong place. I'm just gonna hit backspace again. Now I'm going to type Y, and that's the right one. Let's say that I wanna open it a new tab, just gonna do it like this, and there we go. Notice that you need to configure this under mouse actions, undo last key. So I'm just gonna bring the grid up, and I hit tab, so it takes me there. And notice here that we see undo last key, and it's set to backspace. What else do I have here in my list? Let's see. Right click, restore default. What does this mean? So if I go back to the screen, notice that there's a lot of stuff that is not set up in my case. I don't have any defaults. So you can restore the defaults for all the different fields. If I right click here, restore default, you're gonna notice that the default shows up. I think this happens because I come from a previous version, but if you install mouseless for the first time, you should have all these. Let's see if we can restore the defaults here. Here, restore defaults for this entire section. You can do that on any section. For example, here, restore defaults. All right, so what else do we have here? Just gonna mark this as done. Can you drag stuff? That is sometimes useful. Let me switch back to my browser or to my finder, for example. Let's say that I wanna bring the image that is on the left to the right. I don't remember what key I set for dragging. So let me bring this up. Just gonna hit tab here and let me scroll down and find it. Okay, so notice that I have two options here, hold for move and hold for drag. I don't know the difference between the two, 
but let's give it a try with hold for drag. So that would be with command left. Let me go back to the other tool. Just gonna bring the grid up. Just gonna type here QO. I'm going to press left command right now. Notice that I have it pressed. I'm going to press the letter Y right now. I let go. And now I'm going to type the destination. Just gonna type here TO. Now I'm going to type space. Notice that it dragged the image. Let's move the image back and let's see if it works. It is this one. I'm just going to bring up the grid again. Are you I'm going to leave this pressed? Space, let go. Now I'm going to press QU, space, and notice that it dragged it back. What else do we have here? I'm gonna mark this as done. How can you right click? If we bring up the grid, I'm going to bring up the settings now. Let me see how I right click. I don't remember how it's done. Hold for right button is control left. Okay, so let's go back to forklift. I'm going to bring up the grid. Are you control left? And now I'm just going to press space here. Notice that it right clicked. I don't right click often, to be honest. There are two things that I do the most. The first one is just a regular click and also double click to open files. That's it. Right click could be useful sometimes as well. You don't have to force yourself not to use the mouse, only when it makes sense. But just ask yourself, do I really need to right click or not? It's up to you. Okay, let me mark this here. New grid presets. What is this? Let me bring up the grid real quick and let's see. Just gonna hit tab here and uh, just gonna exit out of here. I'm going to scroll. Notice here under grid options, just gonna click that RRU. Notice that there are some built in presets. The one that I like the most is this position based columns. Why? Let me bring up the grid again. Just gonna exit out of this. Notice where each column is. U is the first one W, E, R, T, Y, U, I, O. So notice that is this row on my keyboard, the top row. I wish that instead of the top row, it would be home row so that I don't have to move my fingers up. The developer is working on that and hopefully we won't have it soon. Where can you find that? Notice here on the right hand side, there's this issue. Just going to open it and uh, here you can find more information. I'm going to leave this in the video description. When is this going to be applied? I have no idea, but if you want to keep it in mind. And if you want to find that information, it's listed there. I'm just going to mark this as done too. Edit the config from the grid with tab. We already know how to do that. Just going to mark this as done. One other thing that I brought up in the previous video, I think, is how to manage your config and your dot files using symlinks. It's not possible yet. Let me open this link. I created this issue. There is a way though, if you scroll down here a little bit, you're going to notice that this person uses a hard link. But based on what I read here, you have to recreate the link after you update mouse list. I'm not 100% certain on this. I haven't tried the hard link. That's what she said. So just let me know in the comments if this works or not. But honestly, I wish that the same link was available so that I can manage it the exact same way that I manage all the configs for all the different apps that I use. But let's see, the issue is still open. So we don't know what's going to happen yet. But just keep that in mind. There is something else that I have noticed recently. Sometimes I need to tap this two times so that the overlay shows up. What do I mean? I'm gonna type this right alt key. Show it up this time. Let me close this. Let me tap it again. Show it up correctly again. But I've been noticing recently that sometimes when I tap this key, it doesn't show up. There is a threshold that you can try to increase and see if this helps. Let me find it down here. This one tap threshold that is set to 300. It's the one shown here, YS. I increased it. I think it's a little bit better, but I'd like to know how it works for you. Try 300, 400. And let's see if that fixes that or not. There is an issue. Someone shared it with me. I don't know where it is right now, but based on that issue, the developer is already looking into it. What else do we have here? Notice that increased grid opacity. Okay, let me bring up the grid real quick. Notice this, just going to type the down arrow key. Notice the opacity is decreased. You can see the message on the bottom left corner and I'm going to type the up key. The opacity is increased. I keep it at one. I like the way it looks. Where can you modify this setting? Let me look for it here. Here it is under key map overlay, increase master opacity and decrease master opacity. Also, how can you move your mouse without clicking? That is the next item that we see here. Let me scroll through the settings here on the left hand side and find that. 
Well, it's actually right there. Execute mouse move. Control right tap. Where's my mouse right now? Let's see. Let's put it here on the right hand side. And I'm going to move it to the save button. But I don't want to click that. So let's give it a try then. Just going to bring up the grid. I'm going to type here TB. And I'm just going to tap right control. And notice that my mouse was moved there. Some people may find it useful. I don't think I'll be using that. But let me mark this as done. You will also notice that there are some hints now on the left hand side. Let me go to one of the options. If I hover over this, you're going to read here so you don't have to go to the manual. That's quite nice to be honest. There are some of them that are missing. If I go to hold for move, I don't know what this does. Hold for drag. But I think they're going to be added in the future. But just so you keep that in mind as well. Let's see what else do we have here. Already covered this. Oh yeah, this is important as well. Let me switch to this other window. Just going to save the changes that I have so far. T N O. Notice that they were saved. If I scroll to the very top of the screen, you're going to notice that I don't know what config I'm using right now. And actually the one that I'm using is the one shown here at the bottom, the one called Linkarsu. So I don't have an easy way to tell which one it is. There is no star next to it. And the name is also not shown here. I'm not sure if this is going to be addressed in the future, but it's just something you need to keep in mind. What else do we have here? Replace home row for scrolling. So can I replace it or not? Let's go here again. Let's scroll down and notice this section. Toggle wheel mode. Control right tap. How do you exit with escape? Notice that if I hold shift, I increase the speed and the wheel. I can move it with H, J, K, L. Basically the motions. If I click on these three dots, R, T, U. Notice that there are several built-in presets. One of them is Vim. The third one, top to bottom. And how does this work? Let's give it a try. Just going to go to the browser. I'm just going to type here, right control. I tap it. Wheel mode is on. I can go up and down. If I press shift, I can move faster or slower. You can also configure the speed. Let me go to Discord real quick. And I'm just going to do the same thing again. I can scroll here up and scroll up faster as well. So it works fine. The only thing that does not work for me is the way to switching to other sections. I have to be clicking around and it's a little bit complex. So that's why I still use home row for scrolling. What do I mean by this? If I type here the right command key, you're going to notice that this shows up. And it allows me to switch between the different sections really easily. Just going to type tab. Notice that I'm scrolling through the different sections. I can scroll in this section here. If I hit shift tab, it's going to switch me back to this previous section. I can scroll here as well, tab again, and I can scroll here. Or I can type the numbers. If I type the number two, three, four, switches to different sections. So it's just easier to scroll. So just keep in mind that scrolling is available. It's an option. But personally, I still prefer home row for that. What else do we find here on the right? The Vim preset, I already covered this. Hold for speed increase, cover that as well. Replace home row for scrolling, it can. But in my personal case, it will not yet. Where can you find this configuration? At least my configuration. If you go to my dot files, I think I have them here. Yep. I'm just going to search here for mouseless. Here's the config.yaml file. I uploaded it 49 minutes ago. This is the latest version. So you can just download and import it to your mouseless config. Remember that if you find useful stuff in my dot files, give them a star. You can do that here on the top right corner. 528 stars right now. You can basically find all of my config there. I also want to thank my different supporters. I always forget to do this. So here is the list. YouTube memberships. Really appreciate everyone very much. This YouTube Kofi membership, super chats, and Kofi one-time donations. All of them are listed here. So again, thanks to each one of you. Really appreciate the support. If you want to support me, you'll find the link in the video description. And I'm also going to leave it in the first comment. And what else do we have here? Let's see, mouse list. Oh, if you want to join Discord as well, is the server that we were looking at before. There's a lot of discussions going on here regarding different stuff, mainly Mac OS, NeoBim related, Linux, and all of that good stuff. So if you want to join, I'm also going to leave the link in the video description and in the comments. If you like the video, remember, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment so that YouTube shows it to more people. Hope this was useful. I'll see you in the next video.